Hello everyone, peace of the Lord to all. In this video today we will speak about uh, magic. However, in the, the, the chapter we'll talk about, it's very silly, but the topic is not going to be silly. All right? Uh, as usual, nothing new to speak about something silly in the Quran. It's a silly religion. Same time, it's a scary religion. Uh, horrible, horror, terror, uh, fabulous, it's everything you can imagine. Now, all of us, when we used to be kids, we love those stories, but they are beautiful. The story of Muhammad is different kind of stories. Uh, right now, I'm working in my book, which is speaking about how Muhammad he got those stories, where he got them from, ancient stories who exist before him. Muhammad take them, he insert them in the Quran. And he made them holy stories from his God. However, today we will speak about the last chapter in the Quran. You see, the last chapter in the Quran, if you read it, it's one of the most silly, stupid chapters ever you can find in a book. It's called the Book of God. You can read with me in English. I'm going to read for you in Arabic just to show you that this is nothing but somebody trying to make Arabic music, but there's no meaning whatsoever. There's no story whatsoever. قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس. You know this with me that the last uh, voice I say ناس 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 it's the same word. That's why you see here mankind 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 you know right mankind. All the verses have mankind at the end except this one which is الخناس which simply simply just to make a music. Uh, and supposedly this verse is about Muhammad, God, saying to him, to protect yourself from the whispering of Satan, you need to do and say this. I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind. Now, you see, many people who do not go study deep, they will not notice that there is something wrong here. Uh, forget about that the whole chapter is very short and there is no story and there is no teaching and there is nothing. So, there is nothing except you say this prayer to protect you. It's a prayer to protect you from what? From the whispering of the Satan. Now, if you go to the interpretation, you will see that they are saying... that there's a guy, his name is Lubaid ibn Asam. He put the, the black magic on Muhammad and he was able to control him. But the verse doesn't speak about magic. The verse speak about the whispering of Satan. It has nothing to do with this. That's why I say always, you know, as you see in front of you, he says Satan whisper in the heart of the jinn. The same as in the whisper in the heart of mankind. The last, and look now, how suddenly he jumped from topic to topic. The last two surahs were revealed about Lubayd ibn Asam, the Jew who used the black magic on the Prophet. Okay, just wait. So, we are talking supposedly about whispering of Satan in the heart. Suddenly, it became about black magic on the Prophet. Which means the black magic and whispering is the same. When Satan he whisper you, he control you. When he whisper into you. But the fact this is a contradiction for different stories, because according to the story of Lubayd ibn Asam, Muhammad he was under control of the black magic, because a Jewish man his name is Lubayd, he took some hair we don't know from where. You know, maybe under the arm of Muhammad. I don't know. He took some mad, madri, madri. <laughs> anyway, so he took some hair from Muhammad, and uh, uh, Muhammad saying uh, this prayer does not help because two angels they came to recover him, as you see in the story here. I'm going to pause it underneath of the video. You can see it. That's two men who they are angels came to Muhammad. One of them he said, "What the problem with this man?" The other one he said he was controlled by black magic. The other one he said, where is the black magic is founded or located? Then he told him where. 
so they were able to, to get it and solve the problem so there's nothing about prayer and solving solving the issue by a prayer I seek refuge by Allah that's number one number two uh, if you say I seek refuge by Allah you are protected Allah is granting you that Allah is granting you that but guess what this chapter which is number 114 in the Quran is not 114 in the Quran if you go to chapter of revelation order to see revelation order you will see that the chapter of Anas is number 21 yes in the Quran it's 114 but in the actual Quran should be number 21 and guess what two chapter after which is a Najm Muhammad he received satanic verses if you remember when Muhammad was reciting a chapter of an Najm Shaitan he whispered into him and he made him say satanic verses this is a very well known book by Salman Rushdie if you remember so satanic verses uh, was given to Muhammad and Muhammad he accepted to say them even though he was saying this the chapter of 114 he said I seek refuge by Allah still Satan he can control him so obviously the promise of Allah is false you say this prayer you don't say this prayer is not working you, you know what I'm saying and actually the verse even after the chapter after chapter 22 is the same it's speaking about black magic It's speaking about the whisperer so here we go he got two chapters before that he recite those chapters and still the black magic is not working I mean uh, I mean to protect yourself from black magic is not working the black magic is working perfectly and Satan he whispered to Muhammad perfectly as you see this is the chapter before it al falaq it's the same prayer almost there's no need for this the, the, the one after it actually I don't know this is uh, like there's no need for this one because it's the same as the one before what, what is the addition here that Muhammad is pray, saying Allah has God saying to him I seek refuge with Allah the Lord of whatever from the evil what he has created whatever <laughs> and from the evil of the dark darkening night whatever uh, and whatever come in the dark of the night okay no problem whatever uh, or the moon has set uh, what is this? fabulous stories you know fabrication and the, from the devil of those who practice or the evil sorry who practice witchcraft and they blow in the knot oh, oh 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 so if we blow in the knot if you make a knot you blow in it you are making witchcraft here we go you learn something now you can do it so here we go he got those chapters 21 22 and then right after look like Satan he want to show Muhammad that this is, doesn't work he gave him satanic verses as you remember chapter 22 verse number 52 here we go it says that there's none of prophet but he but Satan he's throw in his uh, you know in his heart and he make him speak for Satan as you see it the Quran saying that and this is a chapter came right after the two chapters before which Allah he gave him the prayer of protection which means the prayer of protection is nothing but false and fabrication Muhammad he got black magic Muhammad controlled by black magic Muhammad he imagined himself having doing things he never did having sex he never did he wake up in the morning after he think actually not in the morning even daytime this guy is awake but he imagined things happening this is what they say he imagined just go to the hadith of Sahir Bukhari all right and search for imagine and you will see or magic it's all over so the Prophet he imagined things happening to him and this is after what Allah gave him the two chapters saying if you say those chapters I seek refuge you are protected but Muhammad is not protected same time this is a problem because I seek refuge from the whisperer right who is the whisperer the devil Satan as we see in the interpretation Satan he whisper in the heart you see it okay 
Now, how Satan, if he whisper in the heart of Muhammad, is going to affect Muhammad? That is impossible. Why? Because the Quran says the following. Read with me. In chapter 14, verse number 22, it says, And Satan will say, when the matter is decided, it was Allah who gave you a promise of truth. I too promised, but I failed in my promise to you. I had, and I want to concentrate in this with me, this is very important, I had no authority over you, except to call you, but you listen to me. Then I approach me, you know, you approach, not me, but you reapproach re your own soul. What does that mean? And actually, you will see here that Satan he says, <clears throat> Like you know, he is saying, You know what? Uh, I, I reject, I am a Muslim. I reject your former act in associating me with Allah. This guy is a good guy. He do not want that. It's your fault. And you will be given a penalty. So I have no authority over you. So if Satan have no authority over him, over over Muhammad, and he cannot affect Muhammad unless, except, to call you, but you listen to me. So how Muhammad was affected by the whisper of Satan, and he was given the satanic verses. Muhammad was called by Satan. Muhammad, he respond. Muhammad, he accept. Muhammad, he approach. With his own soul. So, it's not what they are saying. Not only that. There is other verse in the Quran, which is a big problem. In chapter 15, verse number 42, look what Allah, he said. Allah is talking now. Not the Satan. See, Satan, he said, I have no authority over you unless you answer me. Allah, he confirmed, he says, for uh, for over my servants, no authority shall do have. He's talking to who? He's talking to Satan. All right? Except such as put themselves in the wrong and follow thee. Actually, here not not only follow wrong, follow in the wrong. The al gawin is something bad, like those who they are bad, filthy sinners. All right. So unless you can you can read any translation you want. All right. You see the translation. So uh, uh, except so there's exception. Allah is saying to Satan, you have no authority over my followers, which means the Muslims, except those who they are bad. Those who they are evil, as you see, those who they are not a true believers, those who they are astray, they are the criminals. Do you see it? So all of this leads us to one thing. This Quran is a book of contradiction, stupid talk. This guy, he's saying, Allah, he gave me a prayer. I say it, uh, protect me from Satan. Then right away after, he been given another chapter saying the same prayer against Satan and black magic and then after the prophet is infected with the black magic the prophet he reciting the, the satanic verses the prophet he is listening to the whisperer of Satan the prophet he became a prophet of Satan because when you recite satanic verses you became a prophet of Satan you became a messenger of Satan so all of this contradict what the Quran is saying in the other verse where Satan he said I have no authority over you unless you listen to me and you follow me and this verse in the front of you saying that you have no authority Allah saying to Satan you have no authority over my followers except the criminals and the bad ones so which one is Muhammad he is the criminal or the bad one Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean